The U.S. women's soccer team just lost. And the whole world is wondering, what's it going to take to stop this U.S. team? Not a whole lot. And the whole world took is this wondering, much. what's it going to take to That's stop this U.S. Took. team? There is not one person out there that can convince me Rapo wasn't paid to throw that game. Well, she has to get her pay from somewhere. Sweden is super happy, cheering. They look like such a nice team. Super sweet. Congratulations, Sweden. Us Americans are sad, some more than others. Realizing that we are out, but now millions of Americans know what a millimetre is because we don't use the, the metric system. The U.S. women's national team have been eliminated from the Women's World Cup. And this marks the earliest Women's World Cup elimination in the history of their program. Two-time reigning World Cup champions USA were eliminated by Sweden in one of the most intense penalty shootouts. Now credit to the Americans because this is the best game that they've played all World Cup. And despite Sweden being top of their group, I wasn't that impressed with them today. I thought they were slow and lacked a lot of quality. The U.S. outshot Sweden 11 shots on target to one. With some incredibly dangerous opportunities. The absolute hero for Sweden, the player of the match, one of the biggest performances of the tournament so far goes to Musevic, who not only 100% kept Sweden in this game, but also denied some of the biggest names in women's football. Now this game came down to the wire to the final penalty kick for Sweden, where Nair made the save to keep the US alive, but the ball went over the line by a millimeter, sending Sweden through and eliminating the US. I thought the US were the better team today, but all hail Musevic. <laughs> yeah, she's an amazing goalie. The U.S. women's national team must watch. So this is at a casino in Las Vegas. <laughs> the They sound like they're in physical pain. <laughs> I don't even want to watch this. They, they thought that it was okay. That did not cross. <laughs> that did not cross. The VAR thinks otherwise. They cheered so hard. <laughs> Aww, that's sad. Turn it right now. We were robbed. Just kidding. Watch me lose my girlfriend to the World Cup. Super pumped for the game. Such a dad. <laughs> Disbelief. I can't believe we're pulling an all-nighter. Wow. We need a goal. Overtime. It's so frustrating. She's not into it. <laughs> the celebrations. Each one is the same. Yay, they missed! Hold your horses. It's like up and down, up and down. Getting nervous. Aww. We lost. <laughs> She's all mad. She's still mad right now.
Wow, they've actually done really good. She's known for motivating her teammates, but this is when I lost hope. All this stuff to your, to your teammates. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Carajo. Yeah, they're... No. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a comment that said, my dad and I both agree, it's actually really hard to hit the goal post. <laughs> no. So there's that. Aww. The U.S. women's soccer team has been eliminated from the World Cup playoffs, and the game hasn't even started yet. I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning to watch them play Sweden, but I only watched the national anthems. Sweden's national anthem is first because they're the higher seed, and look at their team. They're all happy to be there, they're all singing the anthem, and they all have their arms around each other. They look truly happy to be representing their country. Next up was USA's anthem, and it was embarrassing. No one had their it's hand over their heart, barely anyone was singing, and if they were singing, it was a small mumble. They all look so mad to be there representing our country. This is just a horrible look. They're making it look like it's a huge inconvenience to be representing the United States of America. The worst part about this is, is that the team is clearly divided. You have part of the team not singing the anthem, you have another part only putting their hand on their chest, and the other part is singing the anthem. This team is clearly not on the same page. While in comparison, Sweden's team looked proud to be representing their country. They all looked happy to be of together. Course. And that's why I knew they were going to win before the game even started. Anyways, let me point. know what you think in the comments. So, two things. One, myself and the my US family, we have represented our country in sports. And when you go out and you represent your country and you represent that flag, you should put on a good face and have a good attitude and be as united as possible because the whole world is watching. And it's just unbelievable that to be on a world stage and you're not cheering with all your might for your own country is just really crazy. And then the second point I have is I traveled to different countries and soccer internationally is huge. And when I was living in Peru, the way people represent their country and they yell Peru and when the national anthem comes on people cry like people sing so strong everybody in the stadium and not only that but they have second national anthems is what they call it which are chants for their country and they're so united and soccer unites them and so f to see the U.S. soccer team turn their backs a little bit on the U.S. as a country is just so strange and kind of hurtful. It's like, hey, you're representing us as a country. I mean, it's the time to unite, not be divided, especially on a world stage. <laughs> so this person says, just morning. It's not a good morning for this person. Because if it was a good morning, that ball wouldn't have crossed the line by a literal millimeter. And yeah, it was so close. And it's always a good morning, though. We can't let these things affect us too bad. Although a lot of people do. Heartbroken penalty shootout, USA versus Sweden. It's a very intense game. Wow. And they've been perfect so far. Yeah, not much body language. 